Carlson is playing, it's going to be a tough one, but anyone can get it done. As you said, Peter, two years ago, it was their dear backup is top, and there we go. Yeah, the handshake and D4, so we're gonna see another Nimzo Indian. Yes, Players. I see. No. <laughs> D5. Oh, and now we are going to get some fun variations here, but here, do you think it's part of Magnus's style to avoid repeating the same lines too many times? Yeah, probably. Yeah. He always wants to surprise the opponent, to steer the game in his direction, and we see a classical Queen's Gambit. Okay, so we have a pair of bishops for black. White just parted with the dark square bishop, but in a closed position, the knights can actually do quite a bit of damage as they see over pieces. That's why when we say bishops love open positions, because they can stare across the board, but in closed positions, those shorter range pieces, the knights, they can stare up across uh, their own pieces into enemy territory. So uh, early stages in this game, Magus Carlsen playing a classical setup against the Rebecca Busatara. We'll see if things get a little bit more exciting because Peter, in that game between Andraken and Yugegi in the previous round, uh, things were looking somewhat like this, where White ended up going G4 and H4 and G5 and going after the Black King. Exactly. It's very similar. Now, of course, the White Knight has already been deployed to C3. And uh, that's why it's slightly different, but Magnus is surprised. Yeah, he does not exactly know now what should he do. Should he castle in to that storm? Because he knows that Nodimek has a very aggressive style, so he might be expecting some G4H for G5 ideas. And Peter, uh, I don't want to interrupt our attention on this game and what you're saying, but we have to actually back out of this game because I am somebody who has said for many years, there's tons of clips of this, I would love to ban the draw for And not when it's you know, Rook and King versus Rook and King, you know, when players want to conserve some energy. But as we look at our bird's eye view right now, uh, people all anticipate already guaranteed their spot. Uh, in the playoffs, but all the players who are just half a point behind with a victory can join the battle. It's true, so some of the other contestants will be happy to see that game end in a draw. As soon as we talk about ending in a draw, I just saw the corner where I saw another game conclude, but this time in the open. It was Yu Yang Yi with the white pieces against Daniel Dubov. That game is officially in the books, so Yu Yang Yi with the white pieces didn't uh, try to press or anything. He just makes a draw and he continues to score some points. But someone who doesn't take quick draws, I don't think I've ever seen it. Well, I, both of these players really, they always fight. They want a clash. And for Magnus Carlsen to draw this game, that would be a good result because he's the black pieces. He's playing against uh, one of the best chess players on the planet. But Abdusa Tarf, look at him just leaning over the board. You can tell that he wants to find something to give him winning chances. Yeah, on the other hand, the choice by Magnus, D takes C4, Bishop takes C4, C5, is so professional, I'm loving it. He did not want to get into any adventures with castles. He just makes sure that, you know what? Uh, not your back. If you want to create something, then you have to take this. And this is Abdul Satoru. This is why we love him. He does not go for a very simple, for example, there was a case to be made for knight d4, c takes takes f6, queen takes d4, and handshake could almost automatically rise. No, he's fighting with d5. And we've seen games conclude exactly like that. Many top level Grandmaster games. So here we see d5 played. And now the question is, does black take this pawn on d5? Should you just castle to uh, get your king out of the center? You can take on c3, that's always possible. You hurt white's pawn structure, but white will have the best place piece, a bishop on d5 in the event of a trade on c3 and then capturing on d5. So it's not an easy choice for Magnus, but he is the one who played this variation. So he, well, he has his response ready, apparently. He decides, it looks like, to take on d5. And queen takes d5, knight takes d5, bishop takes d5. What are you choosing, Peter? Three options. <laughs> yeah, since I'm not prepared in this variation, it's very difficult to say what I would choose because my heart is screaming for knight takes d5. But it includes a pawn sacrifice if bishop takes b2, rook b1, and unless you know that this is possible, I would I would probably just rule it out. Queen takes d5 is a little too soft and playing for very
is already the ending. And uh, AF4 played by Anto Satorov. Which, what do you think about this position? How can you assess it? It looks absolutely fine for Black. I mean, he has played Knight of Six. Yeah. And I don't see any problems for him. Knight of Six, yes. So, so I think Magna should be happy with the situation. I think Troll will be, will be good. <laughs> but or he will still keep playing no matter what. I mean, that too, but I mean, I don't even know he should be clever and come 98 d6. I, I don't think it's called for. He went rook d8, I think, yeah. Okay, we have uh, visit on the second board. Yeah, that should be interesting. Let's yes. see. Get oh, very sharp uh, line. Okay, he didn't go for the Mehran. And these kinds of positions are normally thought of as quite bad for black. So, very surprising choice by Fedosev. Um, I would assume white is just uh, clearly better here. Because of two bishops? Two bishops and, and, uh, and the king is roaming... Uh, huh? King without a home. Normally if you go for this position, you know until more or less the end it is drawn yes. or what. But I think... Um, Ferrosio makes some very provocative choices once in a while and loses... Uh, a touch of... Uh, um, where his openings are leading him. Yeah. Oh, Magnus has uh, finished their so. the, the mental draw, yes. So, with it, uh, As I think very choice. good chances to win in... Mm -hmm. So, Rook of Fate was played uh, 